Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Design. So welcome and welcome back. Uh, one of you knows exactly what this video is and it's the person who sent me this gorgeous happy mail. The lovely Deborah. Thank you so much Deborah. Deborah sent me a lovely happy mail uh, this week and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video on it today to cheer myself up. <laughs> Do you know when you've had one of them days or one of them couple of days and I have? So yeah, here goes. You know, I haven't even, I haven't even fastened up my wires for my phone. And do you know what? Normally I'd uh, pause and do that, but I'm doing it now, sorted. Right, here we go. Happy mail. This is, oh, I've got to show you this bit first. This is, it's, I don't, do you call it a folder? Is it a folio? I don't know where, it, I don't know the name for it, but I know it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm going to start using it for my own personal bits I've not done any of my personal, well I don't do journaling, daft as it sounds, I do more like a smash book style and I put all my little bits in uh, a box that is, to be honest, not big enough <laughs> and I get round to it whenever. So yeah, I'm going to use that for this and look what it does. I've put my camera on wide angle for you to see and this is as wide as I can get it where I've got my camera arm and yeah, look at that and this is only part of it. So it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take out what's in here and show you that. I'll put this back together and pop it safe. But look at it, the inside, the outside. It's absolutely, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, let's put that safe. There we go. Right. And oh, look at this. I've never seen this. Didn't know this existed. It's Benningfield's Vanishing Songbirds. Abs I love Gordon Benningfield books. And uh, Deborah has now sent me two. Two that I didn't know existed. I thought I had most of them, but I obviously didn't. And I've not even looked in this yet. It's like, wowzer. Wowzer. Gordon Benningfield is the artist, and he did these fabulous... Look, look at that. Just look. Yeah. And the books have actually been put together uh, after his death. I don't know if they started before uh, he passed away uh, by his wife. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, so I don't know if Deborah's put this in or whether it's just in. What is it? What is it? Caught on canvas. Oh, a Gordon Benfield's last work is published posthumously. Robin Page pays tribute to the artist. Wow, this is a newspaper clipping from October 2004 about his latest work. Oh, I'm I'm not going to read all this on video now because yeah, yeah, Benningfield's Orchards. Oh, looks like Benningfield's Benningfield's Orchards may have been the last one. Anyway, I'm going to read that later. Ooh, I love that. So this book was published in 2001. Yeah, so yeah, it's nearly vintage. It's vintage as of this year. It's vintage, but this is a pristine copy. I don't know whether this is Deborah's own copy or she's bought it new, or but it looks like a brand new book. If if I bought this off Amazon as a brand new book and this arrived, I'd think it was. But look, oh look at that. That's his own little lurcher puppy. Oh, oh more butterflies. But yeah, some of these pictures like that wow just look at that i don't know what i'd do with that in a junk journal fashion it's too nice it's too big some of the pictures in his books are look at that one no oh, that's cute look, look that would make a fabulous journal cover i'm not going to do it oh wow look at that one look at that anyways i started saying yeah the books were put together by his wife who survived him yeah she's wrote a lot of the content using his amazing work wowzer anyway yeah i might do a separate video you know on benningfield books because i have got quite a few now and to be honest i've only ever took a page out of one of them <laughs> and that would be because i had two copies so on from benningfield i have no idea what's in this and i know some of the things deborah has bought me things from america and i, Deb, I don't know how to thank you deborah and I've had a bad day, so I'm going to pause. I'm back. Oh dear, yeah. 
so here we go i'm gonna open this i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna open it this ribbon is absolutely gorgeous i don't know whether it's uh sari trim but it's it's amazing i absolutely love it and i have no idea what's in this because i've not opened it yet i'm the kind of person that will wait to open my presents on christmas day so i've got up had a shower had my breakfast and oh wowza oh deborah thank you so much i absolutely love i love the paper the paper's getting saved oh oh these are brilliant i have had these before but i didn't have any left <laughs> Oh wow, thank you so much Deborah. I've got to do a project with these now. I've got to, haven't I? I've just got to. I've got to. Oh wow. Oh dear. Right, onwards. I've now got this other box of goodies. I, I must admit I have looked in this one already because it weren't wrapped and um yeah. I'm I can't always I can resist opening wrapping, but I can't resist opening a box. I just can't. So I'm going to turn this sideways to open it. Am I still in shot? Yeah, of course I am. Right. And I've not dug through it though. I've just looked on top, shut it. <laughs> it's like, oh my word. This. Oh, it's a Prima. Ooh. Oh, wow. Deborah knows my favourite colours. This is my favourite colours, pink and purple. It's got, rose, it's got flowers. I think some of them are roses and butterflies all my favorite things in one paper pad and look at the backs oh my word oh. Oh. yeah i'm not gonna yeah i won't get upset again i promise i'm i'm not the kind of person who will shed a few tears <laughs> people either think i'm the kind of person who has got no feelings whatsoever or i'm just <laughs> emotionally totally out of control because i don't go gradually i i go from nothing to blubbering yeah and that's why i had to pause because i was heading from nothing to blubbering <sighs> anyway back to it i will tell you about my bad day as i go along it could bring the anger back oh look at that i absolutely love it i'm not going to look through the rest of that pad you'll get to see the rest of that pad when i use it oh look at this one i didn't know that one we're hiding underneath Oh, this is a Dovecraft. And so Dovecraft's UK, but I have never seen this. Bohemian. It's not it's brand new. I don't want to break the seal on it. Oh wow. Look. Butterflies. <sighs> Ledger paper. Well, it's not it's squared. But oh it's lovely. I don't know if it tells you the GSM, but it feels like somewhere between it about 180. Thick enough to be a cover if you back it with something, and thin enough to be a page roses and butterflies roses and butterflies and pink and purple oh look at that it's a, is it a stag with antlers like that oh some glitter i love it i love glitter as long as it's attached to paper and it's going to come off and this is oh i love that one absolute oh deborah oh deborah also bought my daughter's gifts oh wow look at that more butterflies oh. I'm going to use that on my desk yeah I'm going to keep this one on my desk to use it because have you see, you've seen me on videos when I want a bit of paper to jot something down I'm all over the place looking I do have sticky notes but then the, you lose them don't they because they're too small oh what's this oh it's a cross stitch chart Oh, look what it is i have not done any cross stitch for years that is gorgeous earth angel by lavender and lace it's from ohio it's a oh, dmc i've probably got all these colors i've got nearly the full dmc range cross stitch was a hobby i took up in my early 20s i'll tell you when i took cross stitch up uh, i was diagnosed with an underactive thyroid and i had a really bad time of it and it took them a long while to diagnose what was wrong with me because it's very unusual to get that at the age of 24. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are going up somewhere in my craft room. They're too chunky to put on a journal, but they've been lovely to decorate my craft room. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, and I did it when I was off work. Yeah, something to do, a hobby. Ooh, a 
Do you know, I don't even know what this is. Someone's going to have to tell me what this is. I don't know what it is. What is it? I'm going to have to, yeah, Deborah, you're going to have to tell me what that is. I don't know what it is. Is it some kind of stencil that then gives you dots? I don't know. That looks like an elephant for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. That is so intriguing. You're going to have to tell me what that is, Deborah. Oh, more butterflies. These are lovely. Are they wooden? They're wooden butterflies painted in white. Oh, I've got to do another butterfly project. Oh, and these. Oh, do you know? I've never... I've seen these in white. I've seen them in garish colours. But I've never seen them in this lovely... It's like an antique... It's like that uh, colour of something I had and they called it antique gold. And they're all letters. Oh, I'm going to have to see whether I can make my name up. Yeah, I could make girls a bracelet with those if I've got their names. I, should, I can see my name, it's easy to spot. I've got the, oh, these are the cutest. I don't know where these are from. I've never seen any of these. American Crafts? Ooh, cute tiny little envelopes. I wonder they're all different. Oh, I love those. They're going to be so good in journals. Oh, wow. Ready-made wax seals. These are brilliant. They're much better than I can do them. <laughs> oh, American Crafts again. Brilliant, Deborah. Thank you. Oh, what's these? 13. I, don't, I hope this, we haven't got any glare. I've not put a light on knowing I've got a lot of plastic. All these are from uh, Poland, made in Poland. 13 arts. That's something I've never heard of. Oh, look at the bees. I've been going to do a bee project. Designed by Olga Heldman. They're lovely. And I'm guessing these are all the ones, roses. Love it. I love bees, don't like honeycombs. <laughs> oh, and this is another one of those roses yet again. Absolutely beautiful. I'm rushing because there's a lot of stuff. Oh my god! I'm gonna move box, but then I need to put it back in the box. Leave the box. Oh, that is so lovely. Die cuts with. I don't know where you get these from, Deborah. I honestly don't know how you get hold of this stuff. I've gone speechless again. Die cuts with a view once upon a time. Deborah got me that gorgeous die cuts with a view stack before and I keep forgetting the name is it I can't remember the name but it's all uh, flowers and butterflies oh it's got the stuck on glitter that's not going to make a mess there's one there's two of each oh this is beautiful I've got some fabric that will go with this amazingly well so I know what this is going to be made into I'm going to make a fabric journal. It's the really heavyweight, oh, I don't know what they call the kind of fabric. You would. It's an upholstery fabric, you'd use it for covering a sofa or a chair. Oh, these are, these are gorgeous. Fairies. Oh, fairies. I'm wanting to do a flower fairy journal. But uh, I heard a little whisper that someone's doing a challenge including flower fairies and fairies sometime soon so i'm saving it now for that challenge oh this is gorgeous deborah mm -hmm. <laughs> put it over to that side no i'm going to put them back in the box they need to be kept they need to be kept nicely because i have got a few more things to show you and these are the things i have seen them I have. I just, uh, yeah, I just can't resist <laughs> opening some of them. I mean, I've no idea whether Deborah wants me to do uh, a video on this. I didn't know whether I was going to do a video because it's such a large, it's like, oh, I just cannot believe someone has it's so kind as to send me all this stuff. And it's not just stuff, it's well thought out. Every scrap of it I will use. It is all my style and all my taste. And it's quite obvious that Deborah has decided what to send by... Yeah, she watches every video of mine. And she knows me. Yeah. 
and I would put Deborah up in the class of being a friend now. Oh, wowzer. What's that? Oh, it's a sari. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I've got the Bohemian collection now, and I've got some sari. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, I can just see that in front of some bow kind of journal. I'll finally get to use my bow beads that I've made. I've made some pink that will go nice with that. Ooh, let's grab them. Let's grab them and have a look see. Yeah, I made all these bow beads. I've never done anything with them. Ooh, oh, it looks pale compared to that sari, that pink one, doesn't it? That one. Ooh, that one. That will go with it. If I made that with those greens and a brighter pink, I've got an eyelash trim that colour yeah so that's yeah that's what's gonna happen with that people Ooh. put that away can I fold that back now oh it's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna have to put that somewhere else yeah she like one of my daughters she's bought one of my daughters a calligraphy kit because she knows that she's an artist and she also knows she's got most art supplies she needs. So she's got something new and different. And Becca's absolutely thrilled. <gasps> wow. Oh, look at that. It's little bows. Oh, Deborah. It's just so many uses for that. I'm going to have to fold it all back up now. Yeah. And um, my other daughter, I mentioned, I think I mentioned this in a video yesterday, but you might not have watched it. Uh, yeah, my other daughter is a mad on history. And she's bought a, a history book and a fabulous uh, insert from the Daily Telegraph from 1965. Do you know something? I don't have any brown lace. And I've been watching Tanya do projects at Tatty Treasure. And she's used this like, brown lace. And this is a lovely coffee coloured lace. That is going to get put away for autumn projects. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so lovely. I can just see this being made into some altered paper clips and clusters. <gasps> Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Music notes? That is so unique. I have never seen anything like that before, ever. It's on a tool. Tool, tool. I don't know how to pronounce that. And it's all embroidered. <sighs> Gorgeous gorgeous and I know what these are <laughs> these these are what Deborah promised me I have lost my stainless steel pins to put in my glue bottles and yeah I'm terrible so Deborah has got me some that she's tested some on her in her glue bottles and she knows the stainless steel so she sent me these oh lovely so they were gonna get they're gonna get put in there I'm not gonna do it now I was going to, but I'm not. But, oh, you could make some. Do you know, I'm going to show you something I've made before. And I used to make these. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I've moved it. I've not made it for a while. You know, like the hat pins. I used to do beaded pins. Like you stick them on with glue. And if anyone wants to see me make those, yeah, I'd be quite happy to make those. Uh, but they're so pretty. And I could, they are big enough to make those with. So I could make some, yeah, I could. Right, what else we got here? I can see what it is, it's newspaper. I now want to know what newspaper and when. You can tell it's old. What is it? The Daily Mail from 1965. Price 3D. <laughs> I honestly didn't know the Daily Mail were going in 1965. And what's the headline in So Farewell? Ah. Oh. Right, yeah, now this, this explains something. I haven't read the insert that Deborah's got me from the uh, Telegraph, but it is the death of Winston Churchill. I'm not as up on history as my daughter. I, I know things happen, but I couldn't tell you when because I can't remember dates. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it was 1965 that he passed away. Oh, I'm going to enjoy reading that before I even do it. I don't even know if I'll use it. 
Oh look, it's from before. The back of a newspaper had sports on it. What's it got on? It's got... I can't get this in shot, can I? I just can't. There is only one way to stop Stan. Lock him in the dressing room. Who's Stan? <laughs> oh, it is football. Oh, wowza. It is. It is sport. But the picture is so different. It's. I just didn't realise it was sport, did I? And then we've got adverts on the back for... I don't want to fold this the wrong way. You probably won't see now because I'm blocking the light. Yeah, we've got adverts for dresses for ladies and corsets. Oh, wowza. We've got a crossword. Wow. Brain tease a crossword. Oh, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. I'm going to have some fun with these. I could carry on crafting all year, you know, just with what Deborah's sent me. In this happy mail, and she did send me a lovely huge one on my birthday. Deborah spoils me, she really does. Right, I want to fold that up, I don't want to tie it up again. I'm going to fold it up and put it in this one because I forgot the last time. Right. I'm going to leave that bag because I'm going to use the bag, they all get stored in there. I might just, I could, I could even do a full series on Deborah, what Deborah sent me, I really could. And there, I have got a few more things, and these, one of them made me laugh, it really made me laugh. <laughs> if you've seen me have troubles with my baby wipes, and Deborah knows that I have not been, I've not been going out, I've not been going anywhere. I'm probably uh, in a much better position to go anywhere than Deborah. And I have trouble with baby wipes sticking and fluff coming off them. So she's bought me some Aldi baby wipes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Deborah. But I love a present like that. And these, I love them. I don't know where they're from and I don't know what they're supposed to be. But they're going to be ephemera stands on my desk. Yeah, I'm going to put my current ephemera in that I'm making and using tags and journal cards and it will remind me to finish them off and do something with them I think but they're lovely they're not going to tip over I've got a lot of mine in cardboard boxes at the minute and then one more thing yeah I must admit I have opened this Deborah and it's a good job I didn't open this on camera because I'd have blubbered again I really would and I'm not I'm going to wait until I've uh, finished getting my standing desk and this is going to go above it I'm, I'm going to have it in my craft room I am because if I put it somewhere else in the house I won't be able to look at it all the time it's a hook yeah and it's absolutely beautiful it's enameled it's got bling and it's a purple butterfly it's wowzer I'll absolutely love it Deborah. I'll have to get my drill out to put it up um, yeah, find one at Studs Inc. Wall. I've got, I've got uh, plasterboard walls in my house because it is a newer house. So yeah, that's got to going to have to go into one of the wooden, yeah, studs behind because I will use it. I'll be able to put. I don't know what I'll put on it yet, but I'm going to use it. So I, yeah, I can't thank you enough, Deborah. Is that everything? It is everything. But you know, there's so much and. I then think I've, I haven't left anything out. No, I haven't. That is it. It's like that is it. Yeah, we're, that's it. That's all the word. Just all that stuff. So yeah, thank you so much, Deborah. And yeah, I am cheered up now doing this video. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about me at rubbish day. Well, I've had a rubbish couple of days, to be quite honest. Uh, I've got one of my girls at home self isolating uh, because she's been a, a close contact of um, yes, yeah, someone who's tested positive for COVID at school. And I've had a bit of a to and a fro in with school because, as you know, I've got twins. Yeah, I've got twins who are in the same class and sit next to each other. But only one of them needs to self-isolate. I can't even get me a drown that one. And if I keep the other one off, I'll be liable to pay a fine. <sighs> anyway, we've done the home tests. We've all come out negative, so quite happy with that. But yeah and you us ladies mine uh, it might resonate with you i was only reading well i watch a, a man on youtube saying that 
in the US, you have now got a new rule that if someone in the household is isolating, the whole household has to isolate and it's to lower cases. But we've not caught up yet in the UK. We, we're not proactive, we're reactive when it comes to COVID. Yeah, anyway, I'm not going to rant anymore about COVID. I could start my own channel, but I'm not going to. So yeah, that didn't please me yesterday. Also, because I never answer my phone and it's always turned off when I'm videoing. And <laughs> yeah, uh, because they couldn't get hold of me, they sent the education welfare officer down to see me, who I didn't hear knocking at the door. And... Yeah, so then she put me a card through saying contact school urgently and I went in a right old panic. I went in absolute tears because I didn't know what on earth had happened. But I am, I'm always of that opinion. If they can't get you on the phone, they'll do what they did in old days when I went to school. They'll come and knock on your door and they actually did and I didn't hear them. I might have had my headphones on, I could have been hoovering. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, I finally got Rachel home and Rachel's now at home at least today, yesterday and today. Uh, we've got to wait for the result of the uh, person who had a positive, one of those quick tests that they send home with the children from school. And she may have to be off school all next week. And she's really upset about that because she's the one who loves history and they are covering World War II in history for the last two weeks. And it's a favorite subject and she's absolutely gutted that she might miss the first week of it. So yeah, then, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a right old moan this, isn't it? I'm putting moan at end because only my hardcore followers are going to see this bit, aren't they? Everyone else, you'll have gone. <laughs> so yeah, and then I uploaded a video last night to YouTube and it's happening to me again where my comments are being disabled. So people aren't able to leave comments and if they have left a comment, when the comments get disabled, you cannot read that comment. And in addition to that, something I've now discovered today, my answers to comments are disappearing. I have got a terrible memory, which you know, and this must have been happening a couple of days and I didn't realise. I'm replying to your comments, yeah, thinking it's all done. I've then gone back to reply to comments and I started to get a bit of deja vu, like I've already replied to this. So I might have even put you a different answer twice. So I, I don't know, you could tell me. Are my comments showing up before they disappear? Are you reading them and they're then disappearing? And then you're getting confused when I answer you again. I really don't know. So for today, I've not answered any YouTube comments. I'm going to see what happens over the next couple of days and I'll get comments answered over the weekend. So I'm not being ignorant. I'm liking them and hearting them. And yeah, we'll see what's occurring with these comments because there's only so many words I can type in a minute. And like I say, if I forget, <laughs> I'm answering everything two, three times. And thank you very much to people who have messaged me and emailed me to let me know the comments were up. Uh, I can't remember all your names. I remember Jane in particular. Jane who waffles just as much as I do. And yeah, so thank you for that. I forgot what else to moan about. I don't know. I think that's all my moaning done. I think I might have done moaning. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and then a package I sent to America last week has arrived back with me, yeah, no explanation as to why it's arrived back with me, uh, but it did once happen before, and what uh, what did happen is, they've just sent it to the sender rather than the recipient, and so yeah, so I've got a message to send to someone now, to let them know their package that should have been a week into its journey to the US, has now landed back with me. I don't recognise uh, the name as one of my regular commenters. You could be a subscriber. I'm not going to give your name out. But yeah, so that just really added to my bad day. It really did. And um, yeah, so yeah, I've been in a right grumpy mood. And I thought, yeah, I'm just going to do a nice video. I'm going to open this gorgeous package from Deborah. So thank you again, Deborah. Uh, tomorrow's video will be the ones that you usually get on a Friday. I normally do the uh, M's Scrap Busters. Uh, I've watched that about three times today and it wouldn't sink in my head what Melina was making. She's making altered paper clips and one of them is a style I've never even seen before. That's all I'm going to tell you. And the other, I have seen it, but the way Melina did it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to link Melina's channel in the description so that you can go and watch her video, yeah? In the meantime, if you're wanting to do some scrap busting today and I've not done the video, go and watch Melina. It's absolutely, she's done absolutely gorgeous, yeah? 
and I do, I, I really love Melina's channel. Melina is a very genuine, very lovely YouTuber. She is quite open about the fact that she uses other people's ideas, but do you know when she uses other people's ideas, she links them as well and she lets you know it's their idea and I'm just doing it my way, which is something I love about her. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop moaning and bugger off. Oops. I'm going to stop moaning and leave, yeah. That is a very that is a very Yorkshire word that and in Yorkshire it's not really a bad word and but I do know that elsewhere that is quite a bad word. So I promise not to, I'll promise to try not to say it again. But when I'm angry, words like that do quite often slip out. So I'm gonna go now because I've waffled your ears off. Yeah? Oh yeah. I've also put a post on the community page. So if ever you find that, yeah, comments are off and you want to say something or ask a question, more importantly. Yeah, I don't want you to just... <laughs> I'm not putting it there just so you can tell me how fantastic I am. But yeah, I, I, I've asked for feedback sometimes. I ask your opinions and sometimes you have questions about what I've made. And if comments have been turned off, you obviously can't do it. So yeah, I've put a tab, uh, a comment on the community page. That you can get if you go to my channel home page there's little tabs at the top if you click on the one community you can see the latest community post because i know they don't come up in feed for everyone and you don't you don't get notifications for them like you do on videos so yeah right i think i need a cup of tea now i've talked your ears off so thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your continued support and yeah I will see you tomorrow with my M Scrap Busters challenge, which will be altered paper clips. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.